Welcome to the support videos for Workload Automation Video Series. This video will demonstrate how to disable auto folder synchronization, then perform a manual download of folders from Control M Server to Control M Enterprise Manager. Let's start by reviewing this knowledge article, which comprises of two sections. Section 1 will explain how to disable the folder synchronization between the Control M Enterprise Manager and Control M Server. Followed by Section 2, which will demonstrate how to download a new folder manually from Control M Server to Control M Enterprise Manager. We will start our demonstration by disabling the auto folder synchronization between the Control M Enterprise Manager and Control M Server. We will need to perform this on the Control M Configuration Manager. CCM. Launch the CCM and right click on the desired Control M server on the list, then select Properties. Click on the down arrow and select No Synchronization for the Synchronization mode under the General tab. Lastly, click OK to save the changes. This will disable the auto folder synchronization feature between Control M Enterprise Manager and Control M server. Next, start the PowerShell to create a do not sync folder with a single job on the Control M server using the CTM define utility. Execute this CTM define command like this. When the CTM define command execution has completed, we can use the CTM PSM utility to verify that the do not sync folder is created successfully. If the do not sync folder appeared from the listing of the CTM PSM output, this will confirm that the do not sync folder is created on the Control M server successfully. Now, let's open the Control M Enterprise Manager GUI, then go to the planning domain and launch the folder manager. Do note that the do not sync folder we have created, using the CTM define utility on the Control M server, does not appear on the folder manager. We will continue to demonstrate how to download the Do Not Sync folder manually from the Control M server to the Control M Enterprise Manager. Step 1 Open a blank workspace to define a dummy Do Not Sync folder. Simply create a new folder and enter Do Not Sync as the folder name. Step 2 Check in this empty do not sync folder. This check in will give an alert for not be able to synchronize the new folder. Please do ignore this error and click the close icon. Step 3 Launch the folder manager to verify that the do not sync folder is created on the Control M Enterprise Manager. Click on the refresh icon to refresh the folder list. Make sure that the new dummy do not sync folder has appeared on the listing. Do note that the do not sync folder has a not synchronized status which is correct at this time. Step 4. Select the do not sync folder on the list, then click on the download icon. This will start the download of the folder from the Control M server. After the do not sync folder is downloaded successfully to the Control M Enterprise Manager, this folder will be updated with a synchronized status. Lastly, to verify that the Do Not Sync folder is already downloaded to the Control M Enterprise Manager, we can simply perform a checkout of this folder and ensure it contains all the jobs. Before we ended this support video, it is recommended to set the synchronization mode back to Update Control M Server and Control M Enterprise Manager. This is to enable the auto folder synchronization feature. This will conclude this Control M Solutions video. Please see our knowledge base and YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you.